Soccer mom season. In the confines of a prison cell, inmates often find solace and purpose in physical fitness. The environment is harsh, resources are limited, and the time is abundant. Yet, despite these constraints, many inmates manage to build impressive physiques that rival those of professional athletes. This phenomenon raises the question, why are inmates so jacked? You look at inmates like Tookie Williams and maybe your uncle that just did 10 years in the pen. He comes out of prison and just built like a damn rock. And you wonder, damn, what did they do behind that cell to be built like that? Before I started working out, that was literally one of my motivations is to be built like someone that did 10 years in the pen. The answer lies in the unique circumstance of prison life. Firstly, Inmates have this abundance of time. Like we talk about, you ain't got nothing but time. Loads of it. With limited activities and distractions, working out becomes a productive way to fill that those, those hours. Secondly, is the challenging environment that these prisoners are in. You think about it, it's a war zone consistently all over around you. And you're going to think, you ain't going to be the next weakling up in there. So you got to prepare yourself for battle. A muscular physique can provide a sense of security. It commends respect for fellow inmates. It doesn't show that you're someone that's weak. You actually work on your strength. You're preparing for battle. Lastly, exercise serves as a vital stress relief, helping an inmate to manage the mental strains of prison life. It can really help you mentally. It's almost like your therapist. There's a philosophy behind this training. You gotta have a philosophy in order to understand why you train to begin with. Behind prison workouts, one is simplicity, consistency, resourcefulness. With limited equipment, inmates rely on body weight exercises and improvised weights. Some prisons don't even got weights, so you gotta improvise. Maybe you gotta sit here and use your fellow inmate for the extra weight. Put a bag, put some stuff in there, make your own makeshift dumbbells, barbells. It's all about creativity once you're behind those walls. Workouts consist of high volume, focusing on muscular endurance as well as strength. This approach combined with that relentless consistency, burnout of a rigid daily routine, man, I'm telling you, it's gonna sit here and change your body right in front of your very eyes. Inmates in prison have this, this creative mindset with their workouts just due to not being in a traditional gym. You in a whole different environment, so you have to be creative. They rely on heavily body weight and improvised weights. So when it comes down to body weight exercises, one of the kings that everybody knows about is the push-ups. Inmates perform various types of push-ups, including standard wide grip, diamond, and even one-handed push-ups. These variations target different muscle groups and help to improve the upper body and endurance, most specifically your chest and triceps, alongside with your shoulders. Pull-ups. Pull-ups are a staple in prison workouts. They're performed using any available overhand structure. So that way, if you find any structure that you can hang on to, you're gonna be busting some pull-ups bars, you know what I'm saying, a cell or a door frame. A lot of inmates like to use to get their pull-ups in. Variations can include the standard, a wide grip or even close grip pull-ups, or even busting out the chin-ups, having a separated grip and busting a bunch of wide grip chin-ups, chin-ups till you die. Squats. By the way, squats are used to build the leg strength. There's so much you can do with body weight squats, but to be creative, you can sit here and either have makeshift weights, you can do pistol squats, jumping squats. There's many variations that you can do to really effectively train your legs. There ain't no skipping leg day even in prison. You can't sit there and neglect those. Dips are performed using the edge of a bed or a set of parallel bars if available. Dips are really good for building your triceps very very good and also good to build a nice chest so getting deeper into the improvised weights inmates often create their own weights using available materials it could be bags filled with water or sand heavy books or even using their fellow inmates these exercises can include rows 
using a bag filled with heavy objects or inmates perform rows. Using a bag filled with heavy objects. This can help work the back muscles. Overhead pressing. Using the same improvised weights, you can perform overhead presses to work the, work the shoulder muscles. Curls. Curls is good with improvised weights to work on those biceps. Or you can do skull crushers to work the triceps. There are a variety of creative ways that you can just bust your body up and improve yourself. It's all about being consistent with your training. So high volume training. Inmates often perform their exercises in a high volume manner. Doing many sets of each exercise and often training multiple times per day. This approach is used to fully exhaust the muscle and stimulate growth. The other training style is circuit training. Circuit training involves performing a series of exercises one after the other with little to no rest in between. This type of training is effective for building muscular endurance and improving cardiovascular fitness. Another style is pyramid and superset training. Inmates often use advanced training techniques like pyramids. It's increasing and then decreasing the number of reps with each set. Supersets is performing the exercise back to back once you're done with one set, going straight to the other and pounding that set out. And then you got the cell workout routine. This is a popular routine among inmates that involves performing a series of bodyweight exercises in a small space. Like a prison cell, the routine might include push-ups, squats, burpees, and sit-ups, performing in a circuit format. So you gotta remember that these routines are born out of necessity and lack of equipment. They can be intense and challenging, so it's always a good idea to really understand what you're doing and going through the motions. Understand the goals and tackling those challenges. I'll say one book that really inspired me was Josh Bryan's Jailhouse Strong. This is a very good book with some nice content. When you think about it, it gives you different variety of exercises that almost mimics a jail, you know, being in a prison in a small space and you gotta be creative with your workouts. Like I said, there is different variations that you can do. Like I said, push-ups are the cornerstone of any prison workout. They work on that building that muscular density in the chest and your triceps and they could be performed in different variations, just like with pull-ups, just like with any other exercise that you do behind those walls. But it's, it's all about the time that you got behind there, because that's all you got. You ain't got nothing else to do. So are you gonna waste your time sitting in a jail cell, scared to death? Or are you gonna train like a warrior because out there you know you got predators out there and you for sure ain't no prey. But if you train like a warrior, you're gonna look like one for sure once you get out those bars. And that's where I got my mindset of training. I wanna look like someone that got out the pen. I wanna look like a scary dude but with an ounce of aesthetics. I train both like a bodybuilder and an inmate. When you really look at it, weight training with endurance training and calisthenics. You mix it together, you're gonna be one ultimate warrior. But that's how inmates get jacked. They got a bunch of free time in their hands and they are willing to spend their time training hard because they they train to be a warrior and not be prey. There's too many predators around you. And the last thing you want to be is a victim. Is a victim.